So what is colonoscopy? It's simply using a, a flexible tube with a, essentially a camera on the end of it. We use this instrument to look inside the body. And in the case of colonoscopy, uh, we use this instrument to look at the inner lining of the colon. So the procedure itself varies, partly by a physician preference. You can either do it unsedated, but the majority of people will get medication, what we call conscious sedation. It's not complete unconsciousness, but it is pain medication and, and makes it for most people tolerable. Another way of doing it is to use what we call deep sedation, using a drug called propofol, so they are completely asleep for the procedure. For the purposes of colon cancer screening, we use it to try to detect polyps. Polyps are mushroom or wart-shaped growths that occur on the inner lining of the colon. About 95% of polyps that are detected are fairly easily removed at the time of the index colonoscopy. A fairly easily removable polyp is mainly based on size, less than about a centimeter. can generally be removed routinely and easily at the normal colonoscopy. 5% are larger polyps and require a more sophisticated technique. Boston Scientific makes snares. You guys make good snares. There's the snare coming out. I'm gonna put this snare around the polyp. We're gonna tighten up that snare and then I'm gonna put some electricity through the snare. Electricity through that snare will heat the wire up and it will cut through tissue and they also coagulate at the same time. Here is the removal of that polyp. After I've made sure that the polyp is removed, I clip the defect closed. Boston Scientific makes a very good clip, a device that will allow me to close this defect. So that brings into the equation and the idea of screening. And we've identified the patient population that should be screened with colonoscopy. That patient population in general are those people over the age of 50. The importance of screening is, is that if we can detect polyps when they're benign, they can be easily removed. And studies have shown that that will dramatically uh, reduce the incidence of colon cancer. My name is Randy Cox, and one of the reasons I'm here is to remind you to get your um, colonoscopy at age 50 or earlier if that's appropriate. Um, because if you don't get your colonoscopy and you end up with serious colon cancer, you'll be going to clinics a lot. These are um, armbands that they give me for every time I go to a clinic or a hospital. Uh, I've got probably about 100 of them here, so you want to avoid this. Really. My name is Debbie Whitmore. I'm 46, but 16 months ago I was diagnosed with stage 4 colon cancer. It had um, already spread from the colon to the lymph nodes into my liver. One tumor in the liver is considered stage 4 metastatic cancer, and I had over 20, which is a lot. And uh, a lot of lymph nodes, 15 out of 21, were positive for cancer, so I really had a lot of cancer. The first oncologist said, came in with pity in her eyes and said, I'm sorry, we have to meet this way. The second oncologist, the main one, came in and said they wanted to make sure I understood that this was there was no cure to my cancer, that the treatment was palliative, which means to increase my survival time and decrease symptoms, like if the tumor's growing, and that uh, you know it was a terminal diagnosis. And there was a 6% five-year survival, and I asked how do I become that 6%? I said, I'm younger. You know, can I be that 6% that's going to survive longer? And he said, no, those are people who have less liver tumors. So then you just have to pick yourself up and you have to decide how you can live with it. The social worker, you know, encouraged me to stay home and make memories with my children instead of going to work. And I missed a lot of their sporting events. And then coming home and being tired and fatigued and having to take care of them, she said, stay home. And I appreciate that advice. And so now I'm able to, you know, be with them and not miss anything. And you just um, take every little moment and realize how precious everything is. You, you see life in such a different way. And people always say, live life as if, if today was your last day. You know, you hear that and you can say it, but you don't really live it until you are given this type of a diagnosis. So I didn't have a colonoscopy at age 50. Um, 
instead, I was diagnosed at age 55 with uh, metastatic colorectal cancer. Don't be like me. Thank you.